Well, if you've spent any time in the mountains this summer, you know there are mushrooms everywhere with all the recent rain that we had. All different species all over the forest floor. So we found an expert to find out what's going on. So these are golden chanterelles. Mushroom hunter Miguel Martinez from Taos is showing me his recent score and how to identify that golden chanterelle. And you can see that the veins connect. He's preparing the these for lunch all today. Also another way is to break them open and they have a white flesh and also they smell like apricots. Oh, nice. a very fruity smell. On the menu, green chili enchiladas with fresh mushrooms. So what we want to do is take a good, you know, a couple of handfuls of your mushrooms and we want to reduce the water out of them. And we're using extra mushrooms because he has plenty to spare. This year has been one of the most phenomenal years I've ever seen. Miguel took up the hobby about seven years ago and yes, best year so far. In two days, he harvested 30 pounds of these mushrooms. First day I went out, I didn't even have enough place to put the mushrooms, so I had to find a different container. The next day I came back out, picked another 15, 20 pounds. And uh, you know, there was a big, great big pile on my kitchen table. It's a family affair. His daughter finding that monster. He takes a guidebook with him to make sure he's not grabbing one of the poisonous species. And a year like this, you need it. Mushrooms are everywhere, a banner year. And they're just waiting to come out under the right conditions and we just got the right conditions. And the result of that hard work is oh so good. Let's eat. I'm Todd Kurtz. I'll see you next week out on the road as we keep celebrating New Mexico. He didn't bring us back any either. Well, we do want to remind you, if you hunt for mushrooms, have the guidebook to know what you're grabbing and eating. Every year, Poison Control does get dozens of calls related to people eating poisonous mushrooms. <laughs>